Good morning. Hi guys. Hello. So I'm just doing my little morning routine here and I thought, you know, because I'm being smart with my time, <laughs> that I would bring you into the behind the scenes of getting ready for the day. And I wanted to talk to you about a topic that's brewing and swirling for me and share some stories about that myself because I think it could be really useful to those of you guys who are um, struggling with this as well. And you know what I'll also do? I will also show you <laughs> my makeup routine while I'm doing it because I think that there's value in both of those things. It's an and both situation. Hey Vivian. So um, starting with my primer, uh, Arbonne. I am an Arbonne consultant. I love my Arbonne products. They are vegan certified and they are good for me and the planet being plant-based and all that good stuff. Hi Lauren, good morning. Okay, so um, as I am thinking about what's happening in my business with the way that it's growing and all the things that I've got going on in my world, which is super duper uber exciting, it also brings me to this little interesting place where I have a team that is supporting me. And good morning, Mike. You want to see my, my, my makeup routine? Um, and as you're bringing people into your business and you're growing your business, there's like two things that happen. There's two sides of the thing that the coin that happen. One, it's okay. You know, I'm at this greater le level of abundance and now I am at a place where I need to, uh, be able to sustain paying the salaries of my team, right? Paying the contractors, paying the, um, the fees of the people who are putting in the work and helping me grow. So there's that part. The second part is I'm going to allow other people to help me. I'm going to allow other people into my life, into my business in a way that I haven't in the past because I was doing everything myself and I'm going to give myself greater expansion and greater space to do more of what I love, which then presupposes, right? It's literally my favorite word. It presupposes that you are worthy of asking other people for help, right? So these are two things that are going to hit buttons. Who here? Give the thumbs up or the hearts or whatever, hands up, whatever feels right for you. If that is something that you have experienced. Also, little commercial interruption. Perfect liquid foundation. Arbonne Honey Beige is the color that I use. Okay, like I said, vegan certified makeup. Um, I'm an independent, independent consultant, area manager with Arbonne. I love it. It is a part of my business and a part of my life and my family. And um, it's helped me tremendously in many other ways. So, one, part one, you are asking for help and allowing people into the vortex of your life and your business and you are saying here person please go help me do this right so so that's part one part two is i'm also going to generate more revenue more income to have you help me and so that also presupposes that perhaps there might be a little bit more pressure that is happening right so we have two two kind of dynamics here anyone resonate with those dynamics and feel like yeah that's been that's been a little transition for me and perhaps it wasn't one that was super ease filled and perhaps it was a little bit bumpy. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Nadia. I saw Vivian just asked a question. How do I know the correct uh, foundation color for me? Um, just message me Viv and we'll, uh, I'll give you some different, some looks. I have uh, a sample card so we could even do a zoom and I can show you um, what they look like and we can figure it out uh, because they have all shades for everybody, anybody and everybody. Okay, so those two pieces, right? Thanks for the hearts and the, the thumbs up. That just gives me feedback to know that you guys, that I'm not the only crazy person that feels this way. <laughs> that I'm not the only one that's like, struggles with that a little bit. Um, but here's why. And this is the point, and this is what we really need to talk about the most. The reason why that's hard is because we are, we've basically been sold a bill of goods and we've adopted the notion that when we are working, we are worthy. And if we're not working, then, then we are not worthy. We're not valuable, right? Because we live in a society that's based on, uh, truly like hard work, you know, very much like this blue collar sentiment of you got to work hard. You got to pay your dues in order to be valuable in this society. And the truth is, is, you know, it's funny, like... <sighs> I straddle the line on that because I, because I was raised by hardworking, you know, middle-class parents who still work really hard and I've reaped a lot of rewards from working hard. And so that's kind of like a ball of yarn we sort of need to unravel. But what I will also add you guys is that working smarter <laughs> is good for everybody, 
right? So like when you've worked in an organization and you have people who are doing everything, you have people who are wearing all of the hats and I can even speak to this in my, my experience. And this is like direct feedback. Oh, hold on. Direct feedback. This is, um, the bronzer powder. Just amazing. It's like, I can, you can tell I really love it. I use it a lot. Um, bronzer, uh, that, when I left my corporate career, and I don't know if Mike's still watching, so he could speak to this. When I left my corporate career, there was a big hole because I did a lot of stuff in the department. I wore many a hat. I even sang the national anthem at our events, you know? And so when I left, there was a hole that needed to be filled. And it took like two years for them to hire somebody in the position. They did a bunch of restructuring, which was good because when there's change, there's an opportunity for restructuring. But it was also kind of a hot mess for a while from what folks have given me feedback on. So it's not, it's not a good thing that you're going to do all of the things you guys, because it's taking you out of the space and place of you doing your very, doing the thing you're the very best at. Okay. It's taking you out of the place and space of doing what you're the very best at. So I want you guys to comment active. This is an active conversation, right? We're like active. We're doing a lot of things right now. I want you to comment below on what you're the very best at in your business. What are you like the bee's knees at? What are you the best at in your business? Comment below and I'll share with you what's happening next. This is called the shape it up uh, brow pencil. It's medium color. It's my favorite. I am obsessed with it. So you get to watch me put my brows on while you comment below on what are you the very best at in your business? What are you the very best at? And actually a little example pops to mind of a client who um, is a certified health coach. I think she teaches like vegetarians how to eat um, and vegans. She's a vegan herself, but she's also a web designer, a graphics designer, and she's really good at all of that. She also teaches yoga, I think in bar. Um, her name's Chantel. She's awesome. And she was like forcing herself to have a business that didn't feel super in alignment with what she, what she enjoyed the most and what she was the very best at. And then she just made a decision to say like, I'm just going to do the health stuff for fun because it's more fun for me and I can help people. But positioning myself in my business with doing that as my lead doesn't feel awesome to me. And so she then went and started doing the design stuff full, full, full go. And she's like really helping so many, she's like working with lots of health coaches and lots of people who really need her services in ways that she couldn't when she was doing the health coach thing solely. Does that make sense? So she allowed herself and positioned herself to um, do more of what she really loves to do. And, and as a result, has had more financial success, has felt more, felt more grounded and like she's being of even greater service. So uh, I just... I just, you know, that's really important. Come on, comment below people. What are you the very best at in your business? And if you're like, I don't know, I can't talk about that, then that's a whole nother live that we're going to have to do later. <laughs> that's a whole nother topic, right? Um, what I'm the very best at is coaching. What I'm the very best at is, uh, connecting the analogies of life with, with, with what's going on and what's, what's blocking me. Cause I always think about what's blocking me and then what's also blocking my clients and then connecting the dots on that to help us move through it and empowering people to, I love to think of myself as a mirror for um, reflecting back to my clients what they are uh, the very best at and, and showing them and holding the space for that light for them and making them um, just like fully own it, you know, just like fully own it and step into it because, because what is the point, right? If you're like not having fun and you've just told yourself that you have to uh, create a product or service or offering that doesn't feel aligned with who you really are, then you're never going to be successful. I know this looks like a torture chamber, right? Um, the girls know eyelash curler. Next is my most favorite mascara. It's called it's a long story mascara. It's vegan. Um, it washes off with your face wash, our, um, incredible RE9 advanced face wash. And it's the best. I don't use eye makeup remover ever, ever. Anybody who uses a lot of eye makeup remover is like, what are you talking about, Willis? It's the best feeling ever to be able to just wash my face one time and have everything be gone. And then I get to just go through my little skincare routine, which has been just such a game changer um, and time saver in so many ways also. So hold on. I can't look at you while I'm doing this because, you know, it shoots your eye out and we don't want to do that because that would be really awkward on camera to have that happen. So hold, please. <laughs> Okay. You guys are good sports. Okay. So back around when work equals worth, 
when work equals I'm I am worthy of um, money. I am worthy of my dreams. I am worthy of you know what I mean. What's more than that, right? Love, <laughs> love. I am worthy of love when I am uh, working really hard then there's really nowhere to go from there. Like there's just nowhere to go with that. And so my invitation to you guys is to look at the places where perhaps you are holding on to something that you shouldn't be in your business. You're doing something that you shouldn't be. And I'll segue to what my, where this is really coming from. I think I'm done. Okay. This is my, um, most favorite lip gloss. This is called glossed over. It's called, it's called Cala. The color is beautiful. You can't really tell, but it's, um, it's like pink with some gold in it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my little live window. Ooh, I forgot my tea, hold on. Hold please, you guys are getting a little tour. It's a bathroom. <laughs> now we're in the living room. I'm gonna put us on our little windowsill so you guys get the natural awesome light and we're gonna finish this, I'm gonna share my story. Okay, how cool is that? Look, look, this is the after. Natural light after. Not bad, right? If you're interested, message me, you guys, if you want to know more about Arbonne's makeup and skincare and all that good stuff. I also use the nutrition products every day. It's helped me um, way less than I did in high school. So there's that. <laughs> there's that. Um, okay. So when work equals worth, you're going to be stuck. Your business is not going to grow. And so you're going to tell yourself that you have to do all of the things, right? You have to design the website. You have to learn how to be the salesperson. You have to be the thought leader, the visionary, the writer. You have to know how to program your email system. You have to learn how to, you know, write all of the, uh, I mean, coding perhaps, you know, you have to figure out how to create the lead pages and all those things. Give me the hands up if you guys are like in the swirl of doing all of the things in your business right now. And it's, it's crushing you. Um, so here's what's coming up for me. So I've been, I've been doing that. And I had this huge download today and I was like, whoa, because I have a team and they're doing a lot for me. My husband is now home full time working with me in the business and it's incredible, but it's also an opportunity to really witness myself and to witness the places where I'm holding myself back, the places where perhaps uh, I'm not giving up more of what I need to give up to help grow into the next, 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 to be of higher service to be the most aligned and present version of myself to be able to serve, right? To be able to create really stellar content in my programs and really just feel super present in that process. And so I have, my, my team is coming in now and they're actually also helping start with some of the breakthrough calls because I was doing, you know, 10 breakthrough calls a week plus, uh, which are like introductory sales calls plus, you know, <sighs> I don't know, last week, I think it was last week or the week before, I had 21 calls in the week between coaching group, coaching calls, which would be like 15 people or more, uh, the strategy calls, and it's like podcast interviews, me being interviewed a lot, right? Like a lot, it was a lot. And um, I'm really trying to think about how can I serve better? You know, like how can I serve better? And if I'm like sprinting around to all these calls and back to back to back to back to back, and I haven't even fed myself, I'm not going to be of highest service to the people that I'm talking to. And so I have my, my team helping with these breakthrough calls. And so that means that there are like six calls on the calendar in the next couple of days that I'm not going to be a part of. And that's weird. <laughs> like that is weird to start. It's a weird feeling, but it's also super life giving and super empowering because it makes me go right because I'm really excited to have the conversations with the people who are ready. I'm excited to have the conversations with the people who are all in. You know, when you're ready, so when you bring that part of the equation to the conversation, and I'm meeting you right there, like pff, rocket launch, right? Like we are taking off, friends. We are like just taking off. And those are the people that I really wanna spend the time with. My team can talk to the people that are in the place and space of trying to make the decision and help invite them to, to get onto the next call with me and to step into the next thing. But I don't need to be spending time on all of these pieces and bits in my business. Like I used to, you guys, I used to edit all my own podcasts. I used to edit the files. Ben said the other night, he goes, I have no idea how you did this. You did this, like you did this all by yourself. And it's true, I did. I did, and I really understand it, you know, and I really understand that I don't need to be doing that now. <laughs> And so this is an invitation, an opportunity, and I'm sharing this with you guys because this is the point. Like this is what it means to be a coach. We share 
what we learn. We share the strife and the struggles and the challenges that we've endured and that we're going through because then we give others the opportunity to not have to struggle and suffer. That's why I'm coaching. I want to make your life better. I want to make it easier for you. I want to help you circumvent all of the BS that goes on in your brain that holds you back, that tells you why you can't do something and move forward in a more expansive and, and service-based way. Right? I want to help you bushwhack inside of your brain all the things that are keeping you back. That's what I love to do so much. Because guess what, friends? When we all serve at our highest vibration and our highest calling, this whole planet transforms. Our children are different children. I mean, they're allowed to be themselves, right? They're, they're not having to fit into some sort of mold because of our insecurities. We're not asking our children to be something that they're not for us because we can't give ourselves what we really need. That's what this work is actually all about, right? Yes, I'm a branding and business coach. But the reason why is because, hey, hi, in this world, we have to be able to feed ourselves. So why not align the work that we do in the world with something that makes us feel alive? Why not spend our time, our sacred, precious time, the only, you know, the most valuable resource that there actually is, our time is the most precious thing. So I thank you so much for being part of this conversation right now. You're being called to this. This is an important conversation we need to be having today on this day at this time this morning because this is something that you need to hear, right? Your time is your most precious, valuable, non-renewable resource. You cannot get it back. And if you're spending it doing something that's making you money, but not bringing you fulfillment and joy, then, well, then what's the point? You know, like then what's the point? So my mission is to help entrepreneurs to create businesses and brands that are the platform and the stage and the portal and the megaphone for sharing the message that lives in their hearts, for sharing the message that the little versions of them, the child versions of them have always been excited about and have carried forth on the journey that still lives in here. Because I believe we can, we can do that. I believe we can monetize that. I believe that we can create a life-giving entity, business, brand, megaphone, platform, you know, delivery system that's going to help people live better, more fulfilled lives. So I invite you to explore that today. I invite you to explore where your work right now and how much you're putting into your work is equaling your worth? Like, do you have a story or a dialogue or a narrative in your brain that says, if I don't fold the laundry, you know, like right when it comes out of the washing machine, then I'm not worthy. Um, I'm only saying that because that dining room table right there is filled with laundry and I could care less. That's not something that lights my heart on fire. <laughs> but the sales calls, that's a thing. That's a little ripple for me. That's been a place for me to go yeah, okay, like these, these folks are ready. They're ready to take the next step. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be part of that process, but I'm also going to empower others to be part of that process because it's, it's rising. It's, it's, it's the rising for all of us, you know? And here's the thing. My sales team is going to make money, you know, which is amazing too. Like I get to help them. They're moms. I get to help them, right? Feed their kids, take care of their babies, take care of themselves, and also learn as they go on their journeys, right? It's like we all rise together. So here you go. That's what's happening over here. Stream of consciousness. You got to see the whole makeup routine. <laughs> and if you're interested in learning more about that, as I shared is vegan certified Arbonne makeup, my most favorite. I love it so much. Shoot me a message and I'll share that information with you guys. I'll put the link in below so you guys can explore if you want. And just thanks for being here. If you guys want to have a breakthrough session, if you want to talk to us, if you're interested in taking things to the next level in your life, in your business, and you're just, you know, calling BS on yourself and the fear and the stuff that's holding you back, head on over to amberlilishroom.com slash breakthrough and book in your session. Talk to us. Let's talk about where you're at and what you need to move to the next level. Because you're not doing anyone any good if you're just treading water, waiting, you know, just not and feeling frustrated with yourself in the process. It's time to start swimming. It's time to start getting in motion. It's time to start helping others, Right? That's what this is all about. And that's what you were put here to do, is to serve, to serve from here. And in doing so, you simultaneously serve yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Here's a little quote, quote of the day that's coming through. And I forget who the uh, person who said this is, but I'm reading, 
I've just finished The Book of Joy by Douglas Abrams. Uh, and he interviews the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. And it just felt, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. And it felt, uh, I don't know why, it's just coming through. And I feel like you guys maybe need to hear it. The quote today is, happiness does not come from gratefulness. Gratefulness creates happiness. Something like that, right? So when you're grateful, you're happy. So what are you grateful for right now in your life, you guys, that's leading you towards happiness, greater happiness? It's like you get grateful, then you get happy. You, get, you appreciate the here and now. You appreciate being right where your feet are. And then you make space for what's next. I invite you guys to just kind of vibe on that today. I'm feeling like there's a need for that. There's no need for comparison. There's no need for saying, oh, this person's further along in their journey than I am. Therefore, I'm not worthy. You know, oh, I can't afford to hire a team right now. I'm not worthy. No, no, no. It's just not how it works. You're appreciative for where you are right now. You take the baby steps forward that you can. You do what you can. And then you expand into what's next. Because if you try to do it all at once, you're, it's like you're going to get whiplash. It's like energetic whiplash. So let's focus on the basics, being where our feet are, being grateful for today, being grateful for what's in front of us, being grateful for this conversation, being grateful for being present for it. Uh, I am grateful for this conversation with you guys. I just, my heart goes out to each and every one of you who's been watching. Thank you so much for sharing yourselves and your hearts and your love. And I look forward to connecting with you guys down the path further in bigger levels of expansion and growth. All right. Love you guys. Happy Tuesday. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.